Uh, thank you, Chairman and Co-Chairman. Uh, my topic is the uh, head split fracture of proximal humerus. Uh, actually, for uh, head split fracture, it's, it's not common. It's just only uh, less than 5% from all of the proximal humerus fracture. We can divide uh, uh, the, the group of the patient in, in uh, split, head split fracture. The first group is the younger patient. Uh, male predominate, and uh, actually for, for this uh, group, the energy, uh, the cause of the injury, all of them are caused from high energy trauma. And uh, for the bone quality, the quality of uh, bone is good, and they have a potential for revascularization. And the second group is an a older patient, a female predominate, and the cause of injury is low energy trauma. The typical uh, poor bone quality with uh, limited regenerative power. For the uh, mechanism of injury, normally uh, we believe that humulat impact against the green eye. So uh, like the right picture. And for classification, Normally, we use the near classification, AO, or Hertel classification, and recently, uh, uh, Markus Scheibel from Germany made the new classifications about the head street fracture. Ta the Taiwan, uh, the fracture lies within the posterior half of the humerus with the, lar the larger head fragment located anteriorly. For type 2, uh, fracture lie within the anterior half of the humerus, and the uh, main fragments are uh, located on the posterior side. For type 3, uh, uh, they have a, a loose or uh, free folding fragment in the central part of the humerus. And type 4 uh, is the common noted head split fracture, like this picture. Uh, for imaging, um, we use the basic X-ray frame, AP, X-ray view, or lateral Y view. For the imaging X-ray like this, we are looking for the pelican side. The pelican side is the double contour of articular surface. From the AP view, you can see um, the pelican side at the GT, and uh, another side is the articular surface of the of the humeral head that connect to the GT. On the middle part of the picture, you can see pelican side on the uh, pitch of the LT. Mm -hmm. For uh, next investigation should be CT. So you can, you can see um, the stepping of the fragment and also from, from 3D CT to evaluate uh, all of the fragment. For the treatment option of the head street fracture, still have some low of the conservative treatment, and of course, OIF for younger patient and arthroplasty between hemi and reverse shoulder arthroplasty. For conservative treatment, mm -hmm, just for uh, really uh, small displacement, mm -hmm, like in this case, the good result for, for minimal displacement. For fixation, at uh, least for young, younger patient, we need to use uh, external support like a uh, screw fixation or added, additional plate, and also internal support like a glove, autoglove, allograve, or metal support. For example, in this case, they use uh, extra small to fix part of the articular surface and use the uh, locking plate after that. For ad additional plate like this, this is a type 4 convolution of the head split fracture. They use um, additional plate mm -hmm. to, to help to fix the articular part. And for the in internal support, you can use the uh, autograph like an iliac clase. In this case, 
uh, they use the two pieces of the ilia class bone graph to put into the defect. And for the metal support, some paper use the cage uh, to maintain the metal physics bone lot. And the next thing to think about the uh, fixation of his fracture. How, to, how can we uh, see uh, articular surface? We, we, some literature about rotator interval approach and subscapulating cutting. The first one is the, this, this is a paper about the rotator interval approach to, uh, to how, how it can improve the quality of reduction just uh, probably on, on this year. From this study, found that rotator interval approach will improve visualization at, as it enhances quality of the fracture reduction. And the next paper is a subscapular peeling. There's only five pairs of young patients. All of them uh, know uh, AVN after, after treatment. And this is a large paper about the fix result of the fixation from India. The uh, 16 cases of a head split fracture which uh, treat with the OIF with plate. Five, five cases just only simple head split fracture and 11 cases of a complex head split fracture. From simple case, no AVN, no non-union. But from the complex case, four AVN, non-union, uh, two non-union, and one post-traumatic renal arthritis. Quite higher number of the complication then. How's about the uh, arthroplasty? Um, uh, from the literature, some people use the hemi arthroplasty, and recently they uh, trend to use the reverse arthroplasty. So from recent literature, paper from, from the group of Marcus Chabot. Uh, this is the result of uh, RSA in, in head split fracture. Uh, 26 cases after follow-up for four, four years. The result of constant scores is about uh, 74 points and, uh, uh, and shoulder scores about 82%, GT healing, 60%, and one case, uh, two complications. One case is the instability after, after I say they need to reoperate, and one case of the state fracture, no need for uh, reoperation. So this is my case. We have four minutes left. Uh, this is a 56-year-old man got a car accident, and this is uh, his X-ray initially. I will ask the audience to, to, to help me to choose the, the treatment of this case. This is a CT. Okay, so uh, I will ask the audience for, for the treatment. Who, OIF, OIF? Okay, lift your hand up. Who hear me? Uh, 56 year old. Who reverse? Who do a conservative? Nobody. So actually, I, I plan to play with this case, but uh, pre operative, X ray, have active TB. So I need to postpone the operation. And this is a two weeks film. Surgery again? Still surgery? Yeah. But patients say no. He's he okay, he said. <laughs> Two months later. God saved you. <laughs> yeah. God saved me and my patient too. This is nine months after, after injury. Look at this. His motion. Yeah, God, God saved me also. <laughs> So the next case, let, let, let's move to the next case. 65-year-old man. He got an injury from the, accident, from the car accident, I think. If you see 
X-ray on the right side, you can see Pelican sign. It's been uh, GT involved with the articular surface and also big pitch of the LT. This is a T CT. Maybe type 3 from Chibro. Who? OIF. Okay. Who hear me? Nobody was the guest. Okay, I, I choose the uh, uh, OIF, but I put the uh, earlier class graph also. In this case, in, in that op, I found Supasvela Torn too, so I, I repair rotor cuff in this case also. Okay, now I think seven years post op. The result is good for me and for my patient too. So the last case, female, 46 year old. So what uh, CT like this. So what uh, option of treatment? What who OIF? Oh, two, three. Who hear me? Nobody hear me. Who reverse? No. Okay. Yeah, I will try to fix it because she's just only 46 years old. And of course, from the head speed fracture, comminuted head speed fracture, we keep in mind we will file avian now two years after operation, avian come. So I remove our implant. My team remove our implant. And then this is the post clinical after one month. She feel happy, a little bit pain, but she okay. And then I, I plan to do a arthroscopic capsular release after this if uh, her motion still not good. But now I think one month, just only one month, she feel happy. So for summary, head split fracture, head preservation surgery is good option for young patient because the good bone quality and high complication rate in complex head split fracture in fixation group, keep in mind that. And I say it's good option for elderly patient. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>